Well, for some anglers, catching one fish of any kind can be pretty exciting. But what if the aim is 63 specific kinds of fish? In his land of 10,000 stories, Boyd Hooper catches a young Minnesota angling for the ultimate fish tail. Oh, something big took it. Like a lot of anglers. I think it was a carp. Carter Brown isn't exactly picky. Bass or anything I can get. This okay. is the opposite. Or spotted sunfish, one of the smallest of the sunfish species. Caden Hootmacher will leave the big ones for everyone else at the Anoka Dam. Super tiny. While Caden, micro hook. His dad, They're from Japan, and his older brother Chris. I mean, you can see that, but that's the actual hook on him. Pursue a fish that would barely fill a fork. Looks like I just seen one like way, way, way up here. And why? Got the muskie up here. The answer's back home on the wall. Big mouth buffalo. Where it is? Channel catfish. And where it started. He's probably three, maybe four, and it's a uh, Cisco. There's largemouth bass. That's one of the ones when he got his first Master Angler Award for that. It was about uh, here that Chad Hootmacher hybrid asked his young son sunfish. what fish he wanted to catch next. And I said, let's just get them all. Let's go get every one of them. 11 years later and thousands in gas and night crawlers, this is where we're at. Brown bullheads. 63 species of Minnesota fish Black bullhead. are eligible for official state size records. A yellow perch. Caden has caught 54 of them. So he's got nine left and he'll have caught everyone with a recognized record. Including one. Plaque from the Minnesota DNR. For which Caden actually holds the state record. Yes, sir. Minnesota's largest ever short-nosed gar. Shovel nose sturgeon. Caden catches the fish. White sucker. That his dad documents. Dogfish. Then paints on molds for display. Quillback. The pursuit of perfection. We've literally covered everywhere in the state. Has taken the hoot mockers. The Lake of the Woods area. From border. Up and down the coast. To border. Spend a lot of time down here on the Minnesota River. All the low hanging fruit has been picked. We're, we're onto the hard stuff now. Hard, <laughs> but not impossible. Dude, it's an eel. It's no. an eel, dude. Last fall on the St. Croix River. Sentimental moment right here. Caden caught an American eel. That was probably one of my favorite ones, not gonna lie. It's very rare, yeah. It took us like six, seven years. I'm so happy right now. 54 species caught. So cool. Nine nice. left. We'll see you later. I don't know if he'll be able to finish it in my life time. Yeah, because some are just that hard to catch and that rare, but hopefully he can he can finish it in his. There's one down there, it looks like. In the meantime, the Hootmockers assign themselves other fun challenges. Yeah, I see one tucked under this rock. Like trying to catch all six of Minnesota's sunfish species there we go. in a single day. No way. Got one now? That's the little orange spotted sunfish that we were after. For if there's one thing Caden we got one. has never needed to catch. Green sunfish. It's the fishing bug. It's been the best part of my life. Boyd Hooper, Carol 11 News. I love it. Anoka. Well, Caden graduated from high school a couple of months ago. He's considering a career in a conservation related field. If you'd like to check out some of the fishing videos Caden's brother has posted, you'll find a link in the story on care11.com. You're a fisher guy. What's That's pretty <laughs> impressive, isn't it? I don't think I could name 20 fish in Minnesota. Impressive? I didn't even know that there were 63 different wow. kinds. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> How many of those can you eat? Probably Maybe just a few. Right? I'm sure you could eat all of them. Or, well, which if one, you want to. Yeah. <laughs> which ones are going to taste good? That's a different question.